What's going on guys? This is the Awesome Nerd Show bringing you more Star Wars Black Series figures. So Rise of Skywalker is approaching and so as we get there we're getting more figures from the movie. So we're getting some newer figures from some of the new Star Wars stuff that is out and even some older figures. But first up here we have Jonnet and the First Order Jet Trooper both from Rise of Skywalker. Then we're going back a little bit with the Yavin Ceremony Luke Skywalker. Even though he has a messed up name where it says Skywalker and then it's the famous that even on the back it has missing the Y from Skywalker. So pretty funny there that they've messed that up twice but we got the ceremony luke and then we've got car dune from the mandalorian of which we review here on the channel so you can check those mandalorian reviews out and our last figure is wedge and tilly so going back old school again so kind of pretty cool here that we're getting some new figures and even some older figures kind of spreading out the wealth you know trying to get people to interested in the new stuff and satisfying the older fans at the same time but it's pretty cool that we have these five figures the car dune was the hardest one for us to find but we're finally able to order and got it i hope you enjoy this video if you do let me know with a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel to see more black series and all the star wars stuff we're preparing here on the channel but let's go ahead and check out these five figures so first up here we have jonna and again she's from rise of skywalker so i don't know hardly anything about her and i'm trying to like avoid spoilers as much as possible so i don't have the movie ruined for me or anything but i like the look of this figure i like the details and design of it i like how with a lot of the characters they're going with more shades of brown and like a lot of leather and stuff and that's what she goes with on here and we can see the face there so the actress is naomi aki i've never seen her in anything so i don't know how close that looks to her but I think the face looks pretty good I think it looks pretty accurate and everything to an actual human so it looks really good there and I like how she has the like eye covering or visor up there I'm trying to decide if it's based off like a stormtrooper kind of like how Ray's was I can't really tell like the pieces but that's you know what I'm thinking it is but again not sure and then her hair there of course looks nice I can't tell if they've added shading or coloring into it but it looks like it is it could just be the light reflecting but I think it looks pretty good and then her outfit again she has a lot of browns as you can see so she has a brown top with what looks to be a white cloth underneath it she has a sash there around her with some sort of like gold piece jewelry there on her arm she has an armband again with the same kind of armor or whatever there on her arm some gloves on her hand then on the other arm she has what looks some sort of metal wrapped around her arm it looks kind of cool i like the design and texture of it then she's got some brown pants on as you can see some more of her leather straps and on her belt there again we have a leather style holster there to hold like a gun or something she has this weird device on her i don't know what that's for it almost looks like a little missile or something with the red tip on it there attached to it so i don't know exactly what that is but a yeah, belt around her. Again, a layer strap there on legs. Then she has like capri style pants on, so they're short just right under the knee. And then she has some sort of like sandal style shoes there at the bottom. They have like some metal or something on, but then she also has the orange straps there around the top. And then ending off with her cloak here on the back, which looks pretty cool. I like the way it's designed, the color. It's almost like a see-through. It almost reminds me of like a bug, though, like a bug skin or something. You can kind of see through as you can tell. So it's like a see-throughish yellow color or something. They've painted over the top and add some like details of lines and stuff to make it look like cloak has the hood there and everything. So it looks pretty good again i wish i knew more about her but again just trying to keep the secrets so for moments though her head can obviously twist and then nod a little bit i can't get the joints to move very well on these figures but they do you know can look up a little and look down her shoulders do come up it looks like just a tiny bit over 90 degrees and then obviously can rotate all the way around she has a single elbow joint that also has the twist and then the wrist can obviously twist around and flex she has a crunch and twist right under her chest her legs come out just a little bit not too much that far back out to the side that much thigh twist double knee joint and the foot can flex and twist at the bottom so that looks pretty cool and again to go along with that she even has a bunch of cool weapons so first off she has a weird like flintlock looking pistol here again they're star wars so they take kind of real life things and modify it. so like i said it looks like a flintlock but then it looks like the handle is a tooth or something so that looks crazy and pretty cool so we'll stick that in her holster and then she comes with pretty cool is a bow so this is like a futuristic bow obviously like a modified for star wars and everything so it looks almost like two bows stuck together and even you know that's clearly what it looks like with the way it's designed and everything but it looks pretty cool i really like this design i don't know how you get her to hold it we'll have to mess around with it but i think it looks cool and so we got stuff to go along with it of course so then we have a quiver here to hold some air so it's like just a bunch of leather again looks really nice has a leather strap to put around her and then we got some arrows to go with it so she can shoot so we have an individual arrow to put with the bow and then a grouping of them to put in the quiver so i have to figure out how to get her to hold all this so this is the best i can come up with i cannot figure out how to get this in into her hand so I feel the bow should be upside down more because of the strap so I feel the strap if anything should be hanging around but from the pictures I saw she's holding it out like that so that's the only way I can really get her to hold it that works and everything and then her arrows I believe goes in through this hole here because it is hollow and the arrow this one individual arrow has a really small end so I tried to feed it through but it just wouldn't fit in there completely with like it stuck and everything but I feel yeah you're supposed to have it in through there so you know it can looks like she draw it back through there and everything and then I 
have absolutely no clue where the quiver goes on her. It doesn't like fit like it normally should. The best position I found was here on the side of her. So I don't, again, don't know if that's right or anything. And then you can just stick the quiver or the arrows in there like that. And then she can you know, reach across and pull them out and everything. But yeah, I have absolutely no clue. I couldn't really find any pictures of her or anything. Just the pop of her holding and she doesn't have the quiver. Just the bow and arrow. So that's the best I can do for her. But it looks pretty cool. I like and stuff. And I did want to read that since we don't know anything about her. And I don't want to look up spoilers from the box. It says from an oceanic moon. Jana leads a band of warriors ready to charge against the forces of the First Order. So there we find out she's from some oceanic moon. So that's pretty cool, I guess. So that's going to be it for Jana. The next up, we've got the First Order Jet Trooper, which again is cool. And we've seen the him in the trailer, especially the more recent ones where it's the whole they can fly now thing that Poe Dameron says. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And so it's just like a normal looking stormtrooper, obviously a little bit different, but nothing too special about it. So there's look at its face a little bit, you know, different and modified from usual. It has a real small view sight there through the front. It's like not got much of a visor at all. And then the weird, you know, breathing and everything, nice weird mouth and stuff. They made it look a lot different. Then it's got like basic stormtrooper armor. It looks like it may have additional armor here on the front, this additional white piece. Got some lettering there. And then that logo that again, I assume it's for some sort of first order. It's a new logo we haven't seen yet in it, the movies, but it's now a new thing they're using in promotion stuff. So I'm not sure what that means, but it looks cool. Then again, just all classic white armor of the first order and stuff. All sorts of armor down sides on the front. Has a bell on there with some pockets and everything. And feet down there at the bottom. But we see on the back we have the jetpack on. Again, has that logo there. And then yeah, the jetpack where it just allows it to fly and stuff. So some grading there on the top. The like booster, I assume, where the exhaust come out and stuff there on the side. So it can fly across the screen and everything. Movements are pretty much going to be the same. We've got the head can twist and nod. Shoulders can rotate up a little bit higher than 90. Rotate all the way around. Single elbow joint again with the twist. Like all the figures have that same thing. Wrist can twist around flex. Doesn't have any sort of ab crunch or waist twist or any modification that they're completely solid. Legs can come out if you kind of twist them to the side because of the armor. They do come out a little bit more and move around. Double knee joint and foot flex and twist at the bottom as usual. So again, nothing too special. Stormtroopers are always pretty plain and basic. They don't really do a whole lot, but they look cool though. And the only thing he comes with is a gun here. Again, another gun. It's a weird three barreled gun there. You don't know what it is. I meant to look up all the guns, but I forgot to do that. So there's the gun looks like that. So yeah, I don't know what kind of gun it is. Looks cool though. It'd be cool if it's like a flame gun or something like that. Not sure. A rocket. Some looks pretty cool though. And that looks really dang cool there for the jet trooper. And then we have the metal ceremony Luke, which we did get the exclusive version too. So that'll be in a video next week. We have a whole bunch of black series exclusive figures to show, but this is just a plain regular Yavin ceremony Luke. So here's Luke from the end of a new hope. And so he's in like yellow, what I call like bomber style jacket for star Wars. So just the yellow jack has the weird padding and stuff has some brown details on it. And then he has very much like Han Solo outfit underneath. So he has a black shirt underneath that reminds me a lot of Han Solo, but look but very reminiscent of the return of the Jedi Luke outfit of the all black. Then he's got a belt on there with the holster with the thigh strap, the brown leggings again look very much like Han Solo's brown leggings with the yellow stripe. And then down into the black boots that look very similar to Han Solo so it could be even like Imperial style boots and everything but look very cool there. And then the face I forgot to point out looks very good so again with their new like face scanning stuff they did or whatever the faces look really good. I think very much looks like Mark Hamill from that. Hair looks really nice too. They did a good job. And then of course he has the medal there given to him by Princess Leia for blowing up the Death Star and everything. So got the little Yavin metal there, which is what this whole thing's about. Movements are going to be the same. It's just but all the other figures side twist and nod. Shoulders come up about 90 degrees and then they rotate around. Single elbow joint with the twist. Wrist twist and flex. A little bit of an ab crunch and twist there. Legs don't move hardly at all. I don't know if it's because of the holster on that, but even this leg like doesn't move forward very much. It's just the way it's designed. But it has a thigh rotation. Double knee joint and foot flexes and twists as usual. Again, just a another style of Luke there that we get because they always like to make all the different styles of Luke's and stuff so that's another one we got there and his other accessory is a gun there so just a gun that goes into his holster so just like that and you can obviously also put it into his hand but it's the award ceremony he doesn't need a gun out for the award ceremony he's getting an award so just in the holster will do just fine and that's gonna be it for the ceremony Luke so next up we have Cara Dune which we saw in the Mandalorian episode 4 so that episode is aired so we know a little bit more about her now she's an ex-rebel shock trooper and but she has since retired because she didn't like the whole politics of the after war years and stuff so she's on retirement now but she looks really cool I really enjoyed her character I hope we get to see her in more episodes but by the time you see this there'll be multiple episodes out so maybe she'll have returned by then but uh, she looks pretty cool so there's a look at her face Gina Carano I think looks pretty close now I don't know enough to tell the difference but again the face looks really good I like her hairstyle so on one side she has long hair then on the other side it's braided back and then I like even there's a spot on her face which is kind of I thought it was always supposed to be what they call like a beauty mark or a mole or whatever but they've if that is what she really has they've turned it into a rebel logo 
which I can't get it to show up clearly enough on there. It's already blurry in real life and so it's harder on the camera. But I think that's cool that they gave her like supposed to be the tattoo or something of the Rebel logo there on her face. Then she's just got a bunch of armor on. You can tell it's got this blue green color of armor there. I think it looks cool. It has the armor there up the top on her shoulders there across her chest and the armor vest there. Then she has armor on her forearm. Then she's got some of the padding there on her legs as well. Then she's got the boots down at the bottom with all sorts of little accessories. So she has the belt on there again matching the colors with the holster. She has a knee pad and then some things there on the side of her leg. So again looks very cool. She's of course the former MMA fighter so she's got the more muscular profile of that and then she like even the tattoo there around her arm and everything. So remember it's again gonna be the same as always so the head can twist and not of course uh, the color piece and her hair kind of fight with each other. Shoulders just come up a little bit because of the shoulder pads so they don't move too much and then rotate within those limits. Single elbow joint and twist there as well. Wrist twist and flex. Crunch and twist under her chest there. Legs come out just a very little bit because of the belt and armor. Thigh twist double knee joint under the armor there. Boot does have a shin twist it's right at the top of the boot and then the foot flexes and twists side to side as well. And then she comes with multiple weapons as well. She has a little handgun here that we can stick into her holster just like that in there and then she also has a knife which is pretty cool so we'll just take that and stick that into her left hand just like that so there in her hand and then she comes with a big rifle like machine gun of some sort it looks pretty cool it's a nice big old gun it has a strap that doesn't like to stay on and I don't even know exactly where it clips on to but it's pretty cool but yeah just a big old gun has this big two double canisters there on the side of it and stuff and they double bear a gun so it looks pretty cool stick that in her hand so they're like that she looks really cool with that gun in her hands there like that so that's pretty cool there for Cara Dune and then our last figure of the set is Wedge Antilles and so he's kind of like the an unsung hero of the rebellion and so if you don't know about Wedge he's kind of always in the periphery right there alongside Luke with a lot of stuff and is uh, should also be considered a hero but he's kind of always just in the background so he was the only other remaining member of the Red Squadron for the blowing up the first Death Star he was a pilot of the snow speeder that, that took down the first ATAT -AT walker on Hoth so he figured out how to you could take him down and then he was also flying alongside Lando inside the second Death Star and helped to contribute to blowing it up there so again he's the unsung hero of the rebellion but very similar to past Luke's we've had the pilots he's just you know a guy in a pilot outfit so nothing too special but there's a look at his face I think looks pretty good I kind of seen you know pictures and stuff of Wedge a lot and I think you know it looks pretty good and close again the face just look really good ever since they've switched their process and he has a hairstyle very similar to Luke's just a brown color instead of the blonde and then again as I mentioned he has the pilot outfit on very similar to Luke's so the orange jumpsuit has the white vest with the apparatus and stuff on there of course all the straps and everything I don't know what they're for the black pilot gloves the black pilot boots there at the bottom and then this strap around the leg. Again, I don't know what those are supposed to be. And then same things there on his arm. Movements again are going to be the same as always. So the head can twist and then again very rough, but it does have a knot in it. The shoulders come up over 90 degrees. So first one, they can really do that and twist around. So again, single elbow joint with the twist. Wrist twist around and flex. Crunch and pretty much no twist right at the chest. Legs can come out about 90 degrees and go back and off to the side some. Of course, the straps are kind of getting in the way. Thigh twist, double knee joint, twist at the boot right at the top of it shin twist and then the foot can flex and twist side to side so definitely has the best movements out of all the figures so far for that so that's pretty cool i guess <laughs> then his accessories he comes with a gun here again i don't know the style of gun but we'll stick that in his hand and then he also comes with his helmet here so pretty cool there it's like got a nice all green and yellow color stuff so the yellow visor looks pretty nice so i'll just slide that over his head again i love how they've done these helmets for this because usually when you get helmets on figures they look really dorky because they look you know way too big and just weird and bulky but I think they got them perfect with the size you know they're not too big but they don't seem small they fit on it and the soft rubber they make around makes them just slip on real easy and stuff so I think it looks almost perfect when they have the helmets on I really like the look and everything with that but that's pretty cool there for Wedge so that's gonna be it for this Star Wars Black Series wave I guess the Rise of Skywalker wave too probably since it has a couple characters but it's pretty cool that we got the Jana, the Jet Trooper, Cara Dune, the Yavin Ceremony Luke and the Wedge Antilly so again more characters to add to the collection and got some new stuff with Rise of Skywalker and Mandalorian and everything and then of course the two older figures there so pretty dang cool I hope you enjoyed this if you did let me know in the comments down below who was your favorite figure out of this set leave a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe to the channel to see more of our Star Wars videos don't forget to check out our Mandalorian review and we'll have a Rise of Skywalker review up within a day or so of the movie coming out so check those out on the channel as well thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time